everybody. Welcome to Game Trailers TV. I'm Jeff Keeley. This week here at Danger Close Games in Los Angeles to give you an exclusive first look at the single player of Medal of Honor. And joining me is the game's executive producer, Greg Goodrichard. You're looking the part with the, right. uh, yeah. the tier one beard, right? This is method development for sure. I actually, uh, for today, I shampooed it this morning with, uh, with coconut shampoo to make sure it looks very nice. Well kept. Yeah. Only for GTTV. A very tier one, yeah. Well, you know, we've been waiting for a while to see the single player of Medal of Honor. We revealed this game for the first time last year at the Video Game Awards. Mm -hmm. What is Medal of Honor and the single player all about? Because this is a reboot of this franchise. Absolutely. Uh, you know, for the first time in 11 years. This is no longer in, in World War II. It's, it's in modern times and the, and the current fight in Afghanistan. And we're, we're still telling the soldier's story, doing it right and honoring a community of, of individuals as, as we've always done. Now, Greg, Call of Duty and Modern Warfare, I mean, they sort of are inspired by real-life events, but, you know, instead of Afghanistan, they have, you know, Afghikistan or something like that. Uh, why did you decide to be, you know, so realistic with the, the places and the settings? I mean, what does that add to the game? Mm -hmm. It's a bit historical. Um, it's inspired by actual events, uh, but it is a fictional story uh, in, in an actual conflict. Okay. And, um, you know, the locations and, and the places we go and the things we do are all inspired by, you know, uh, people we've spoken with and, and have been working closely with on this project. You know, there are going to be a lot of guys watching this on Spike who say, hey, you know, I play Modern Warfare, it's done me no wrong, I love these games. You know, what are you offering to these guys? Why should they be switching over to Medal of Honor? You know, Modern Warfare, we're going to get those comparisons, and I welcome it. I'm a consumer of those projects, and they're very good at what they do. And, but for us, uh, on Medal of Honor, it's, I think it's just a little bit of a different tone. Our intent is, is a bit different. You know? What is that? I mean, it's more... Again, it's more... Uh, realistic? Or? Yeah, it's, it's authentic, it's plausible, realistic you know, um, meaning that, you know, there's a difference between authenticity and realism, right? right? So you can be authentic, you can have authentic weapons and authentic sounds and locations and, and tactics and, and all the things that you do to achieve authenticity, but, you know, sometimes realism goes out the door when, you know, three or four weapons strapped on your back and hundreds of rounds of ammunition, so we try to remain authentic. What is the story of this game? You know, it's, it's told in three parts. Uh, the first part is uh, you are part of an AFO team, AFO Neptune, who's going into uh, a small city slum uh, in Gardez in Afghanistan to try to figure out where Al-Qaeda is, is amassing their forces uh, in the valley. Um, you get that intel. And at that point, it's pretty much, you know, we, we're going to need a bigger boat. We're going to need more men. Then you set out to create a, a tactical operations center. And then the big, big military shows up. And, you know, we tell it from two different sides. Well, Greg, tonight we are getting a little bit deeper into the storyline of Medal of Honor. And uh, you, we're going to toss to one of these uh, story sequences, right? Right, yeah. So this is uh, one of our in-game sequences that uh, basically focuses on the Tier 1 operators and a little bit of our storytelling. And, and uh, yeah, so check it out. All right, here we go. World premiere of Medal of Honor only. GTTV. Thank you for flying Ranger 2 1 Lines. I'll be your steward as team leader today. Also known as first on, last up. Take it today, we'll be serving rounds of 556, five, followed by our main course, all you can eat Taliban. Hope you like foreign foods. Fernandez, ready to let the big dog bark? Yeah! Woof, woof, woof! Oh, f this. I see in this movie. Private, switch with me. Pogram, Gold Digger 1 on approach to LZ4. Roger, Gold Digger 1 to proceed. 200 AGL, flaring for landing. Get to work. Go to red. Go, go, go. Move, move, move. Out, out, over here. What do you got? What do you got? Yeah, I got nothing. No targets. Rear is clear. Bottom gold digger. One customers are dropped off. One free fire team. 30 meters apart. The mission is to make our way to BP Ginger. Watch your fires. We are engaging combatants only. What the hell? See combat, here it is. What's your plan, Sergeant? First platoon is shot to s***. You're Bravo 1 now. 
Roger. Hey guys, Spike's back on the video game Attack this week with Medal of Honor from EA, and I'm here with Rich, who's the senior creative director on this game. Uh, Rich, uh, the beard, uh, Greg kind of got you beat, right? Yeah, well, I was growing mine, and uh, my wife made me downgrade it to Tier 3 from Tier 1. So. <laughs> now, let's talk about what you guys are doing here with the Tier 1 Warriors. We've seen a lot, uh, you know, trailers and footage of this game, but tonight you're showing us some of the actual missions that we're going to be going on. We got possible enemy squad on the ridge line, 12 o'clock from our position. And it starts with Friends from Afar. What's that one about? Friends from Afar, you play as a, uh, a army sniper, but actually part of the AFO Wolfpack, which is the army tier one unit in our game. And you're basically, uh, you know, you've snuck in in the middle of the night and you're, you've put, set up yourself an OP and you're now taking targets down that are like, you know, 900 meters away with your heavy caliber sniper weapon. Good you know, trying to make that challenging and, and interesting, we want to have that kind of realism of, you know, these guys aren't always, you know, running around kicking doors. Sometimes they'll trek in for days on the somewhat side of a mountain and just lie there and wait, you know, observe, and then just start. Wait for that one guy after three yeah, days. Yeah, one guy or like a few guys or whatever, and they'll start. Play for 12 hours. So yeah, you miss that second right. when the guy's there. That's it's right, over. Yeah, that's when the game's over. Bye-bye. All right, Rich, we're also going to talk about a level called Dorothy's a Bitch. Yes, we are. <laughs> so, you know, Dorothy is the objective that they're trying to get to. That's uh, yeah. AFO Neptune. It's our uh, Navy element of the Tier 1 forces in our right. game. Those are the guys with the beards? They all have beards, sir. They, uh, why do they all have beards? Well, they all have beards uh, to kind of blend in with the general populace. They're basically inserted on the side of a mountain in the middle of the night, and they run into far more resistance than uh, intelligence. You ain't in Kansas anymore. They are not in Kansas. When they get to Dorothy, and it's crawling with bad guys, so they have yep. to uh, take care of it, hence the name Dorothy's a Bitch. What are some of the, you know, the weapons we're going to be? Obviously, you know, sniper rifle and, you know, machine gun, things like that. Yeah. But what are some of the, the standout weapons? For us, it was like trying to have that level of authenticity and try to stay true to what would be being used in theater mm -hmm. by those guys. And it's more about what they would put on their weapons. You know, la laser designators, you know, front grips to, to make them more stable, uh, different optics, silencers. Yeah. Um, that sort of thing. Um, so, you know, you've got your, the standard M4, which comes in a lot of different flavors. Now, in terms of other sort of gameplay mechanics, I know you've got a lot of vehicles in this game, too. We saw that in the VGA announcement trailer. I mean, there's ATVs, right? Yeah, so we have a mixture. We have, we have some vehicles that you ride on, you know, um, as a kind of a rail type thing, and then you've got vehicles that you can actually drive, and they spend a lot of time tuning the controls yeah. for it, and then just trying to make that a fun uh, experience for the player, and right. just a different way to get between objectives. All right, guys, we're back here at Danger Close Games in Los Angeles, taking you inside the mind of a Tier 1 operator in Medal of Honor. And right now, I'm here with Eric, who's the senior audio director on the game. And Eric, you have worked on every Medal of Honor that has ever been made. Yep, pretty much. It's my baby. You know, I helped uh, start the franchise back in 1999, and it's always been near and dear to my heart. But you don't have the, the full beard. You know, I did at one point, but I, I chickened out at some point. I couldn't, I couldn't reach great. Starting space. again, right? Starting again, yeah. There's a lot of story, a lot of drama, mm -hmm. uh, a lot of emotion to this. You know, lots of cutscenes and things happening in the environment. Can you maybe tell us a bit about that emotional angle to the game? Well, I think, you know, like other Medal of Honors, it uh, comes down to a very personal story, you know, that while the greater landscape is uh, bigger with bigger battles and a lot of action, that really, you know, deep down there is deeper meaning behind what the, these guys do every day and the fact that they consider the guys that they fight alongside with their brothers that they're willing to die for. So we really try portraying that throughout the storytelling of the game that kind of gives deeper meaning to what it is you're doing level to level. Now, uh, this game, music is an important part of it. It really mm -hmm. has always been, I think, an important part of Medal of Honor. Mm -hmm. um, who's composing the soundtrack for this? Uh, we have Ramin Jawadi, who's doing the soundtrack for us this year, and he's done an incredible job on the score. The thing that's really exciting about it is that the score actually really evolves throughout the entire game. So the way the score sounds stylistically... The stakes get raised. Yeah, as the stakes get raised and the story develops, you find that the score really is kind of changing along with that. So what you're hearing in level one is going to be pretty different than what you're hearing in the right. last level of the game. Where are the enemy? Shyakot. Shaikot. What's that? 
It's Pashto. It means Valley of the Kings. Shyakot. Where is it? There. How many? Many. 500 fighters. Or more. Hmm. We're gonna need a bigger boat. And you got all these modern day weapons and sound effects. You can put away your World War II weapons. They're collecting dust now after a decade, right? Yep. And you got to upgrade it with a whole new suite. Yes. Guns. New toys. We had a great opportunity to go out to Fort Irwin with dice and do a really huge uh, gun recording session. We were kind of thinking it may be one of the biggest that has ever been done. We had over 100 microphones recorded distances from inches away to miles outside of the city, um, recorded in this uh, mock Iraqi village in the center of Fort Irwin, and uh, been able to get pretty much every weapon that we would be using in this game in future games, and uh, from basically every perspective you can imagine. We're back here on Game Trailers TV looking at Medal of Honor. I know what you're saying. It's like, oh, that's single player stuff, whatever. It's overrated. All I want to do is go online and blow some up in multiplayer. Well, now we're going to talk about multiplayer in Medal of Honor with Greg. Uh, you guys are not developing that here. It's being done over in Sweden at DICE, right? right? DICE in Stockholm, Sweden, and we could not be happier with these guys. I mean, they clearly know what they're doing when it comes to multiplayer, and they've got a long history and tradition of, of doing that well. Uh, we just wrapped up our uh, our beta yep. uh, on all three platforms. And what, what did you take of the reaction? Because I think some people loved other people were like, oh, it's too much like Bad Company 2. Yeah, well, you know, the intent was just, was to basically pull uh, the best of, of what was in Bad Company and uh, Bad Company 2 and then improve upon it, you know, but we wanted to make it a, a Medal of Honor experience, right. uh, you know, faster gameplay, uh, you know, with the Cobble City Ruins map with Team Assault, you know, it's old school deathmatch, but, uh, you know, we wanted to really get that racetrack vibe, really, uh, you know, talk about skill and focus on skill and, and getting on the gun and knowing the map and playing it well, and then with the combat mission in the Hellman Valley map, you know, we wanted to, to focus on teamwork and, and make a story-based uh, multiplayer mode with, with a narrative. So kill streaks, death streaks. Yes. Yeah, score chains. Yeah, uh, score yeah chain. uh, you know the. Uh, but you know the way we're doing it is we have both offensive and defensive. So uh, when you do rack up those points, you know you can you can uh, decide to, to do something very offensive with with those points. You know. Are you guys going into vehicles for multiplayer at all, or keep that off the table? Well, you know, again, we're focusing. Uh, we're trying to make this a, a Medal of Honor experience. Right. So it's not going to be uh, as focused on vehicles as the battlefield uh, stuff is. But uh, there are a few. Uh, areas that uh, we, we, we do use uh, support vehicles and, and things. That you can call them and you just can't control them? Again, we're, we're focusing on individual skill, player skill with a gun, you know, again, and making it more of a, a Medal of Honor experience and trying to speed it up a little bit uh, faster, uh, more unforgiving gameplay. So as you guys think of Medal of Honor going forward, do you see, I mean, you guys and DICE are teaming up again. I mean, is that the idea that, you know, they're great in multiplayer, you guys can focus on the single player, and together you guys can, you know, take down Call of Duty? Yeah. Well, you, you, I mean, you never know, right? That's I mean, the strategy. Yeah. Somewhere on a whiteboard. Someone, like, yeah. you know. You know, again, I've said it a few times, and, you know, our, our goal here is just to make a great game. I'm sure a lot of people are watching this show, hearing about this game, you know, the war is still going on, and they're probably wondering, you know, how do you guys kind of wrap this up? I mean, what's the emotion that you want people to feel uh, when know, they think, get that, you know? I think people will all feel differently. You know, I think everyone who, who has at least gone through this uh, to this point has seen it and gone through uh, the narrative and as well as uh, participated in the multiplayer uh, things. I think everyone feels a little bit different, you know, and I like that our goal has been always to just tell the story authentically, mm -hmm. truthfully, from the soldier's point of view. All right, well, thanks very much, Greg. And if you guys want to see all that exclusive new footage of Medal of Honor, again, in high definition, you know where to go. It's over at GameTrailers.com. For everyone here at GT, I'm Jeff Keeley. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.